YouTube. We're going to get the crock pot down and we'll have one expensive bag of uh, mac and cheese uh, for a late lunch, early dinner. Yeah, that is one expensive bag of mac and cheese. Uh, actually, it was on sale for $5.99 a bag. That's one of the bag soups we've been buying at, uh, at a local convenience store called Quick Star in Wisconsin and Minnesota and other states they call it Quick Trip. Okay, so this is what we're having uh, today. You like to say something? Hello YouTube! Yeah, hello YouTube! You guys, good news from the governor. Yeah, what about it? When you're seeing this video... Well, let me see here on the date first. 28th. Let me check, okay. Yeah, uh, yeah. When you see the video on the 28th of May, the May. bars are open 50% capacity. Good, I can go to my watering hole. You guys, the but our watering hole has been it. open for a while. The swimming pools are also open, but I think I'm going to wait for a while. Okay, and something else is opening too? The museums. The museums. And, and movie theaters. And? Zoos. And? That's all. No bowling alleys yet? No bowling alleys yet. Oh, darn. So we got to wait for that video even longer. You guys, no amusement parks yet or casinos. Boo. I was going to step outside. Uh, it's a little chilly out it's there cold today. Out, guys. It's cold out there. For, well, what do you expect for May? As we're starting to approach uh, uh, for us to be Memorial Day weekend, of course it's going to get cold uh, during Memorial Day weekend. What else is does? Uh, yeah, a lot of things are opening up, uh, so more, uh, possibilities to go out and hang out. Uh, like I said, our watering hole has been open for a while because they serve food, so they've been open for a little bit, but standard watering holes, yeah, they're starting to open up more. But the problem is, I, I learned this whole thing, it's cheaper to drink at home than it is at a bar. That's what we're being to find out, so I don't know how they're going to recover. Uh, basically, we will be at 50% uh, 50 50 capacity, they'll be restricted to, uh, we'll have to see the bowling alley open in somewhat, probably no league bowlings of any kind, uh, just for open bowling there, they can possibly, but then you got people using house balls, that means sanitizing, you gotta sanitize inside those finger holes and all that stuff, so until they figure out how to do that, they'll wait, they'll wait it out probably. Uh, as for the the tourist traps, there's a few tourist attractions that are slowly opening up. Now they're opening more campgrounds to tent campers. Uh, I guess she said, uh, I think she said no more than six people per campsite unless it's a media family of and six or more. The bathrooms can finally reopen at the campgrounds. Oh, uh, and the public bathrooms can reopen in the in the, in the campgrounds, but no visitors. No visitors. Uh, no visitors yet. So. Uh, our little walk through to our campground, it's not going to happen anytime soon. Because we're just going to be a visitor anyway. It is like called the Chucky Shortcut, like I mentioned in the previous video. And uh, it's going to be, uh, it's going to have to wait it out somewhat. Playground equipment is still going to be closed like I ever use it. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think a lot of kids are still upset because the summer has already got a head start when school's closed all of what? Summer baseball for the high school people, that starts. Too. Oh, yeah. In Iowa, uh, uh, summer baseball. They play high school p baseball uh, mostly in uh, June and first part of July. So they play a lot, mostly like late May, uh, June, and, and early part of July, uh, basically. So for Iowa athletic baseball, uh, they can still salvage this season. That's good news uh, in a way. At least we'll, if we, if, if we're allowed to attend those games, because not very many, many people go to those games, uh, basically. Oh, yeah. Not for the swimming, it's only lap swimming and swim lessons. Okay, so all right. Not mine. All right, no well, aqua sizes yet? Nope. Okay, yeah, she's just online reading it. Yeah, I just, I don't know, time you watch this video, just see what the counterpart governor does in Illinois across the river from us. Uh, there's a lot of people who are going to go ahead and defy that governor's orders. Uh, basically because of being that uh, 
I guess they're blowing it out of the water. I know, I know, I know all this. Uh, social distancing is great, but they want to open up. Uh, they want to do more openings and that, and still keep social distancing for a while, at least. Until uh, I told somebody uh, last night at, at my workplace, uh, basically, uh, when someone stops, when the media stops talking about this, and when the politician stops talking about this, I can almost guarantee things are going to be back to normal before you know it. Uh, right now, as of right now, uh, we're looking at 2020 as a write-off year. <laughs> yeah, write it off. Unless we can be able to salvage something for this summer that we want to plan. But like I said, anything out of state is, like I said in the previous, in our live show, uh, was all, it's still canceled. Always been, will be canceled. Uh, we're just looking at some in-state stuff. That's something that we have not done and willing to do for the first time. And maybe the only time uh, that we may be doing some of this stuff. Because I'm looking at the Twilight Riverboat. I know a lot of people have talked about that Twilight Riverboat. And you guys ask, how much is it? I said at the time it was over 400 bucks per person. And they said it was too expensive for, for two days. But that's one thing we're looking at right now. Because it gives us a nice riverboat ride. Go through two locking dams. Go up to Dubuque. We've never done anything up in Dubuque on this channel before. Uh, that would be a possibility. But then another possibility is we can go out to o Lake Okaboji, uh, do some around there for a couple of days, then probably head back to Eventsland for one I, day I've, uh, and all that. I've, right. been, I've been up to Dubuque, but I forgot to take you guys with. Yeah, that was a long time ago. That was before this channel. <laughs> Oh, there it is. That's what our uh, expensive mac and cheese looks like. Out of that bag I showed you earlier in this video. There's mine. There's Angie's. We're going to eat. Sorry, no leftovers. This is it right here. So, sorry, no leftovers this time. Sorry about that. Oh, oh man, just uh, between that last clip, Angie just pointed out some good news. So, what's the good news? Uh, I forgot. You just told me like five seconds ago before we made this clip. Well, something that we were supposed to be doing for a video. Yep. So it's opening up this Friday. Oh, you guys bowling alley. Yeah, so one of these days we will do a bowling video. And hopefully we do it uh, without no issues, uh, if you know what I mean. And that's so we'll wait till this video comes up. Then we'll Hold it. The bowling alley is opening the same day as the bars. Yes, but right now I'm not... A week from Friday. Right now I'm not going interested to go hang out to a bar no, right now. <laughs> me either. Uh, just things gets more towards capacity. We're going to increase the capacity a little bit. Well, when we go hang out at the bars, it's not even at 50% capacity anyway. You guys, I saw when Illinois opens up 10% capacity for restaurants. Uh, how can you operate like that? I have no idea. Oh, well... I don't know. It's just the way it works, I guess. That's why we live in Iowa. And Iowa states that is 50% capacity when it comes to that stuff. Mm -hmm. Or higher than that. Okay, let's go ahead and wrap up this video. I worked up a snow of sweat today. I'm hoping I sweat my pounds off. That's what I, I need. I think you did. <laughs> yeah. Oh, please like, share, subscribe. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.